What's up, AJ fans? Animus J here. I was requested to do a Kerrigan build. Um, and since I play with her a lot, I'd be happy to. Um, the person who requested to do this, this video is for you and for anybody else who needs a great build. I'm going to show you the build that I use for Kerrigan and how I'm able to dominate the competition. Let's get started. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are playing Ker Kerrigan Woo! on Tomb of Spiders, which I'm super excited. I really love this map. I think Kerrigan uh, can specialize in this map because she is a one-hit-a-quitter kind of girl. So we are going to pick a level 1 sharpened blade to boost our impelling blade damage and deal more damage and do more domination in here. Um, so we should be able to catch him with our first combo here. Might be able to get this first kill off bat. Yep, go ahead and get that first kill out the way, because we can do that. It's Kerrigan. Uh, at this moment, we have to be a little careful. We don't have our full combo yet, but since he wants to come over here and mess with us, we'll go ahead and see if we can grab this second kill. Medic did come and save save him and get him out of there. We could have got this second kill if Medic wasn't there, but with Medic there, he is uh, pretty much safe. Level 4, we are going to grab Invenom. You can grab the uh, Sonic Pulse. If you want to focus on that, actually, since it is Tomb of Spiders, we are going to grab Sonic Post to do a damage boost um, all to all nearby enemies because we want to do as much damage as we can to help with that. Go ahead and see if we can continue here. I am really starting off slow on this combo thing, aren't I? And I think Medic is feeling like she can do her own thing without any help. Gazzo will probably not die. <laughs> like I thought he would. Medic wasn't going to make it. Uh, we was able to go ahead and take out Medic 7. Level 7, we're going to go ahead and grab Mastery. That's going to give us health and mana regeneration um, as our shield is up. So that'll allow us to get health back. Allow us to really do some damage. Looks like I mean, Gazos just have this like internal beef going on right now. I don't have my combo, so I can't really over push this. want to sit here and give our teammates some help. We do have him body blocked. We don't want him getting away. We're going to go ahead and get this kill here. <laughs> No, Medic, you will not save him. We want to sit here and give our teammates some help. We do have him body blocked. We don't want him getting away. We're going to go ahead and get this kill here. <laughs> no, Medic, you will not save him. It is time for him to go away. <laughs> our teammates are pushing this a little way too hard. I don't. There's no way that I'm going to be able to push this hard as they're pushing. Um... Might be able to get Gazzo though. Oh, and we did. There goes one right there. We do have him down again. We are completely ruining his life. I do not feel bad about it at all. <laughs> at level, where are we at? We are at level 13. I forgot what level we were on. At level 13, you're going to pick Lingering Accents. Lingering Accents is your increase in your shield duration, which means that you have longer time to uh, develop a shield to uh, in your combos. And Megan then pushes away that combo would have killed her. But since she pushed me away, there was not much I could do there. Looks like Thais is trying to get away. We're not going to give him away. He actually got pushed back. I love that special. That special is so fun to watch when somebody sits there and applies it correctly. You don't see, you don't see as many chance these days, but I really do. I really do like chance playstyle. We are now at level 16. Level 16, you're going to get aggressive defense. Aggressive defense increases your shield gain, which means that you can get up to 200% of shield and uh, sustain even more damage and live even longer, which is something that we would like as an assassin um, to be able to live longer because our combo will boost our, uh, our shield substantially and give us a bigger shield. So now we can have a shield over the course of 20 seconds and our shield doubles. Um, throughout the time, so that's that's awesome. Awesome. So now we're at level 20. We do we did just grab the boss, and this match has has become a lot closer than it was starting off. Uh, level 20, we're gonna grab um, Bolt of Storm since uh, Kerrigan doesn't have any way of getting away from anybody up until level 20. Bolt of Storm is gonna be your way of escaping really hard fights. So she Bolt of Storm is well needed for her, um, and is a must-have. For her at this point. Zebo that wants to come over here and try to cause some issues. We should better get this kill on him as well. And not let him get away. I'm gonna activate my special here. Do as much damage as I possibly can. Oh uh, he did. I mean, um that probably wasn't the best time to use that, but it did the trick. Enough for us to pull him back and get that kill. 
All right, so we are at the final push of the core. Uh, we're trying to take this win here. Get this over with. Go ahead and get that combo. Pull him in. Kill his little butt. Put this damage on K. Put this damage on Kethas. Go ahead and get that kill. We're going to push Zeepo back. He's going to try to get away. We're going to make sure he does not get away. We have a full team wipe. This is the core push. This is the end here. Good game, everybody. Awesome work. Love this deal. I just want to use my teleport just for the fun of it. <laughs> check out the stats. Let's check out the stats real fast. Um, I did have a, a, a little rough start starting off. Six deaths. It's like I said, with Kagan, it's a little hard to get away from a lot of people. So you have to, most time, if they start just talking to you, it is hard uh, not to live <laughs> with her. But, man, she is awesome as far as doing the combos. Uh, 98,000 siege damage, 54,000 hero damage, 17,000 XP. So we did great on the hero damage. We came the second highest, which is um, really awesome. So I'm going to go show you the talents again uh, just so you can see them from 1 through 20. At level 1, you get sharpened blades. At level 2, you get sonic pulse. Or you can get in Venom, depending on whichever the map is and which one is more important based on the situation. Level 7, get Mastery. Mastery does uh, increases your health and mana regeneration by 100% whenever your shield is active. Um, and your shield comes from your, uh, your talent that you have. Uh, level 10, you get Maelstrom. Maelstrom is the only special you should really be getting with Kerrigan. Her other one is, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> and that's what you want to use in a big group battle when there's a team fight. Uh, and your team is starting to go off. You go in and there and you try to absorb as much people as possible. It does a lot of damage and definitely can be a great um great tide changer for you and your team at level 13 get increased uh get lingering essence that means that you can increase your shield duration to 20 seconds which means that it'll last 20 seconds i mean like it says and that's a lot longer than six seconds um that is initial time is at level 16 you'll grab aggressive defense this will give you double the shield um, the shield that you gain from doing combos and which really keeps you alive a lot longer. And level 20 is when Kerrigan can finally shine and deaths will stop happening because you can get Bolt of Storm which allows you to get in do your combo and get out if things get dangerous. Until then she has no way of escaping from her opponents which makes it hard for her to get away so you really have to play careful with her at the beginning. Sometimes I play a little aggressive and I'll die a few extra times but um, I always I make sure I take somebody with me. And uh, I think this guide is definitely great. I uh, want to thank the person who recommended uh, me to give this guide. And I hope this guide helps all the Kerrigan, Kerrigan players out there. And I hope the highlights that you've seen, seen kind of show different ways to use the combo system. And uh, why, why this build is such a, a dominating build. If you like this video, definitely hit the subscribe button. I hope you uh, really do. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it's a, a channel that you grow to love. We are AJ family here. And we just focus on good, clean fun. So. It's all about having a good time, laughing, fun, and just enjoying ourselves. And I hope to see you next time. And I can't wait to make another video. So I hope you have a great day. Take care, everybody. Yes, where the enemy is moving. So let's say, for instance, that the guy, if you can see my mouse here, the, so let's say the guy you're attacking is moving in this direction.